in the beginning, yes, because, uh, you know, a lot of people, like I said before, a lot of people, they don't know. They, they are not conscious on what's going on in the world, mm -hmm. how they can save money in electric and uh, mm -hmm. in gas or, mm -hmm. or they can be more healthy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. And so I was a little hesitant in the beginning. I said, mm -hmm. okay, how are we going to market this property and to get the price that we want? Of course, to do those changes, that we add more and more, uh, more budget. So more money mm -hmm. to our budget. Okay, so now we have to um, raise the price, the living price is no good budget in the beginning for good property. So we was a little concerned, but everything, everything come out really good. Hello, this is Izumi Tanaka with Home Green Homes podcast. This is the first episode I recorded in more than two months. I was quite busy with transactions. After all, I'm a realtor and transactions are my business. But the truth is that one of the transactions was my dream listing come true. And it was important for me to pay undivided attention, which is why I took a pause from my podcast. It was a project I collaborated with dear friend and colleague, Jenny Acosta. Jenny is a successful real estate investor who has been flipping homes in Los Angeles, now in Austin, Texas as well. This listing was her very first flip project where she went green, hence the word eco-flip, despite her trepidation. This felt epic for me because it was a first for me to work with a flipper as a collaboration. But now I'm ready to do some more like this. The following is my conversation with Jenny. I had a few days after we closed escrow for this EcoFlip project. We share about what we learned, what we did, what was difficult, and so on. I hope you enjoy. And she and I just finished this epic <laughs> project, so to speak. And uh, I just wanted to have a, a conversation about what we did and how it went and how Jenny is feeling at this moment. We just closed the, um, the escrow last week. And so um, Jenny, first of all, uh, I'd like to ask you, um, how long have you been uh, doing real estate investment? And, and what really got you into this? Um, well, we we started in 2015 after mm -hmm. we moved from Chicago to California. A uh, friend of us told me to get my real estate license. And then I started to see more shows and the TV about flipping. And I started to like real estate is how we started. I started to get my license as a realtor. And then we started to do flips and new constructions. Actually, we start with our, our home. Oh, uh -huh. house that we that we bought in California is uh, how we started. So we turned down, we built a new home, beautiful home, and then we decide to to sell it. And from there is how we start our flipping business. Wow! So so far, how many um, projects have you done? I know you did some new construction um, as well, right? I think close to probably. 25, 30 25. projects, mm -hmm. yeah, since 2016. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as to audience, um, to give a little bit of a background, Jenny and I met in, I think, 2018. Um, we were we are both a member of an uh, organization called Women in Real Estate Network. And I think we sat together, right, at the one of the events. Yes. And that's how we met. And uh, I wanted to learn how to do the flipping, but I, my my main interest was to make um, the homes sort of greener, uh, more sustainable, um, you know, homes because I'm a green realtor and I wanted to find more homes that are green so that I I have more green homes to sell. But uh, so I I kind of started talking to you, Jenny, about doing green and. Um, what was so i think you brought me this uh you talked to me about uh this last uh project we did sutton and i i had asked you if you wanted to uh try this 
this new flip project uh, to be more green. Tell me what your uh, what your motivation was. What prompted you? Well, actually, uh, I have curiosity about those green homes. I start mm -hmm. to hear about more and more. I even we have a friend and asking that she mm -hmm. does all the new constructions mm -hmm. like sustainability and green homes. So I don't know. I have curiosity, and then you start to tell me about how we can do it in a flip. So mm -hmm. this is why we say, okay, let's go. Let's go try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm so grateful that you did give me the um oh, the opportunity. I know it was a risk. So, uh, uh, but from seeing your projects before, previous projects, you your uh, work is very uh, high quality. As you know, as I noticed, that's one of the reasons why I, I I have been talking to you, and so in California with a pretty strict code, you know, a lot of the things that you you have to do when when you are renovating is already considered fairly green, right? So in this project, um, tell us some of the things that you did that would qualify to be um, green, and some of the things that I ask you to do. Um, yes, so most, a lot of the stuff that we're doing so far is the high quality and mm -hmm. we try to, see, to use like safe energy mm -hmm. for whatever we can. So in this project, the way that you advise me is to do uh, heat pumps and different kind of, of uh, insulation, different mm -hmm. rate of insulation was the main things mm -hmm. because windows and uh, appliances and car chargers, we already use it in another projects. But mm -hmm. what's the main things that we did, the um, AC that we have to do a heat pump, mm -hmm. water heater, mm -hmm. um, mainly was those, those items, mm -hmm. those three items. But with some big items. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and um if I'm correct, uh this home that we just sold was 1954, right? Uh built in 1954. Yes. And yes. so it had a gas line. And so you you got rid of the gas in in the house and made it all electric, right? Yes. Yes. So uh, the the main line is still there, mm -hmm. but we cut the line because we have the pool. Yeah. So, but for the main house, yes, is not uh, no mm -hmm. gas. Everything mm -hmm. is electric, but because it's still the line, the, if so, if they wants to do something, the new the new mm -hmm. owner. Can mm -hmm. So, um, compared to what you would have you would have done, um, like I all uh, you always put in like really high end thermador uh, appliances in the kitchen and. And so we put uh, electric stove, but not induction, mm -hmm. and 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 then like putting in heat pump, water heater, and heat pump um, HVAC system. Do you have a good sense of how like is there a, a lot more expensive to do it this way compared to how you would have done normally? Mm, no, like too much difference in price, but yeah, mm -hmm. probably another. Maybe um, another fifty percent. Fifty. The rate of the yeah, like fifty percent more expensive, like what we get. Well, actually, the appliances all the time we buy the same. The only difference we got electric instead of gas. Right, right, uh, right. The, the range, but the um, I think one of the more expensive was the AC. Mm-hmm. Because I we see. have to do the heat pumps right. and uh, the insulation, we did a double insulation because we raised the ceiling, we bolt in the ceilings. Right. So we do the more, I think we did a double insulation on the on the ceiling. Right, right, right. It was what was all the more expensive. Yeah, yeah. So would you say that um, doing it this way, more say more green than you would have normally done? Do you think overall was it a lot expensive, or do you have any sense of um, how much more expensive? Well, actually, uh, it's not like how can I say it's not too much. Like from the price that we get before, probably mm -hmm. not double, but mm -hmm. maybe fifty percent. Oh, it's really? Like, probably something they cost us a thousand dollars, maybe they cost us fifteen hundred. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I, I see. Know, like, it was like way too high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I know that you you chose the electric stove, uh, regular electric stove, although it's a high end thermidor, uh, it's not induction. And I think when we had this conversation, you said induction was a lot more expensive, which yes. is, yes. which is that one probably like double or triple the price. Oh, wow. Which okay. Why we decide to go with a electric. Yeah. And yeah. Thermidor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what were the most challenging for you in terms of doing it this way? Was it, um, did it, did it feel different or was there any difficulty in uh, implementing the high efficiency uh, features? Was easy. Like it was? Probably the only challenge was the price because uh, uh, we have to like adjust our budget between mm -hmm. all the properties. Mm -hmm. So it's the only difference. Everything yeah. else, uh, mm -hmm. the subcontractors, they know how to install mm -hmm. the, the heat pump. So it's mm -hmm. not a big difference mm -hmm. in, uh, in regards of the installations. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Yeah. So only the challenge was like, I went out of my budget. Right. So this time I have to adjust my, my budget to those right. prices because uh we di we didn't do that before so the prices we didn't know about those prices yeah because you use the same contractors for all your projects right so yeah. they're used to they're used to doing um all the the constructions and the construction part you know other than like in the the thickness of ins insulation is different but the actual work process is the, the same, same. Yes. um did you did you have any resistance from juanito the general contractor of doing uh, something differently no okay no, so you <laughs> so you think they're pretty open to doing it this way yes yeah because see, they they know how to do all these all the installation installations and mm -hmm. they can construction so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it wasn't a mm -hmm. big deal to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um are you willing to share with us uh, just the basic stats, like how much you bought the house for and what it cost you to do the rehab and what we sold for? Yes. So we bought the house in uh, the end of January for $1,390,000. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent around five ten in the construction mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. everything, the mm -hmm. entire project. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sold the property for uh, two million four seventy. Mm -hmm. And are you happy with that number? Yes. <laughs> well, it was like two point five the way they will. Yeah. It. Yeah. More happy, but yes, yes. Yeah. So it's a very good project. It was a short mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. the project was very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, so we. We certified this home with Pearl certification, which I brought in and I insisted. And I know that at one point you were asking me, why can't we use some other certification that are more recognized like Energy Star or LEED? And Pearl is not in the green feature uh, certification list yet. So mm -hmm. do you think that it was worthwhile getting it certified? Um. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because... Uh, no many people they know about the mm -hmm. uh, this kind of homes, the green homes. Mm -hmm. But whoever they knew about that, they was happy. Like they would mm -hmm. do something like that. And mm -hmm. on top of that, our property is the one of the only two properties in the whole LA County that they have mm -hmm. this certification. So mm -hmm. we get that uh, certification. The whole certification was happy for that. Yeah, yeah. And when we when we had offers. Um, that came in a little bit lower than we wanted, you know, we were able to use the um, the data that Pearl certification provided to say, this is why we're asking this much. And um, uh, did you find that to be helpful, that, uh, that all the information that we, we, we were able to provide? Um, yes, yes. And uh, this is why we get to the price there. Mm -hmm what we closed the property, what we sold the property. Yes, what some people, some uh, um, offers that we have that they say, oh, we don't care about that. But I know. Offers, they say, okay, well, it's great. Even the buyer that who bought the property, mm -hmm. he, she was very happy. Mm -hmm. 
house there was a uh, electric that she's gonna save the uh, um and utilities, she was happy overall. And what yes. we did with the yes. property. But yeah, we have some people they because they doesn't know about mm -hmm. this uh the, the green homes, how mm -hmm. they can save money, how it's more healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah. So did you have any um trepidation or what 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 was your um if there, if you had any, was there any fear? Is there any concerns before you you got this going? Well, in the beginning, yes, because uh, you know, a lot of people, like I said before, a lot of people they don't know, right? So they they are not conscious on what's going on in the world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, how they can save money in electric and uh, mm -hmm. in gas or, mm -hmm. or they can be more healthy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, and so I was a little hesitant in the beginning. I said, mm -hmm. "Okay, how are we gonna market this property and to get the price that we want?" Mm -hmm. Because of course, to do those changes, that we add more, and more, uh, more budget, so more mm -hmm. money to our budget. So, mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have to um, raise the price, the listing yeah. price is no yeah. what we budget in the beginning when we yeah. get the property. So we was a little concerned, but. Everything, everything come out really good. Really? <laughs> I'm, happy, so, I'm happy with the results. Great. And would you do it again, Jenny? Yes, of course. <laughs> but now I have to budget all these expenses. Right, in, right. In budget, yes. Yeah. yeah. So what would you do differently next time? I know. Okay, so you're um, you're working on the next project coming up in Austin. Um, yes. Uh, but... Would you do it again in California? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Would you? <laughs> so, yeah. because I'm asking because Austin, Texas and California are quite different in, on the code, you know? Mm -hmm. So California obviously requires us to, to be more stringent in terms of the sustainability or energy efficiency. But I don't know, um, I don't know too well what the code is in Texas. But my understanding is that California is more stringent. So, so if you were to do it in California, what would you do differently next time? Well, like I said, from the beginning is I need to adjust my budget. Right, and, right. Uh, and do the same thing. I think mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing this like for all these years in mm -hmm. uh, we did only we switch a little bit in this one for the yeah. new um, yeah uh, more green stuff or more like heat pumps like mm -hmm. this different innovation different mm -hmm. little things here and there mm -hmm. and then they help they help us with the price right mm -hmm. and, and I like what we did mm -hmm. I really like what mm -hmm. was it scary at the beginning yeah but, and then was I think it was worth it. That, oh, I'm so I am so relieved to hear that, Jenny. <laughs> no, I was so worried. Then we listen to you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I I am so happy to hear that. So tell me a little bit about the the new project in Texas you're working on. Well, this here in Texas, the way that you say, like in California, we used to do the things a little different. Mm -hmm. So this is, is the first project that we want to start to do here in Austin. So mm -hmm. right now, one of the the blocks that we find is like the permits. The permits oh, I see. We cannot touch the property until we have approved all the permits. Oh, they wow. Take like three weeks, four weeks. It's a little, I feel like it's a little longer than mm. the day, at least when we get a project in LA, we get the demo permit, we start to clean it up, demo, start right. to get ready the house while we are in the city with the permits. Yeah. Here in Austin, uh, according to what the officials and mm -hmm. the city told us, we cannot do that. So we mm -hmm. have to have the permit on hands mm -hmm. before we touch the property. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. think that one, we're going to delay a, a few weeks. I see. And, um, to start the project, it's the only challenge that I see right now here. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, it's my first project. Uh, of course, rentals and Airbnbs that we have is different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and on the flipping side or construction side, I right. think at the time it's gonna be a little challenging. Now, now, um, Austin, among all the other cities in Texas, is a little bit more progressive. And I know that Austin has its own green building um, programs. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you are you planning on um, 
doing that or uh, do you think um, you're going to include some of the, the green features that uh, we've used in Sutton? Yeah, I will. Okay. I will include some of the features, yes. Like yeah, what would probably, that be? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do something like certifications or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But least, yeah, I like this, the heat pumps and mm -hmm. insulation. We are not like uh, guarding the whole house. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we're gonna bolt in the ceilings the same like in uh, certain so mm -hmm. probably we're gonna have the same kind of insulation so mm -hmm. the comes for the AC and the mm -hmm. uh, yeah but yeah. everything else is gonna be the same the same that we do in the the stuff so far yeah yeah then you you will get to uh you will get to sell it as such you know this is a more high energy, a high energy efficiency um, home or high performing home, even in Texas, and and you you find the value in high performing homes now. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, and I think uh, yeah, my family they was very happy too because we did what you did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I am so happy that we have a happy ending and um, I would love to work with you again on other projects. Yes, we will, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you so much, Jenny. I really appreciate your um, gumption. I and, and, and I really, truly got to know how you work and I was very impressed how how uh, impeccable you are in terms of you know you you pay so much detail to uh, attention to details and the quality of of the the work that you do is very very impressive so congratulations jenny thank you <laughs> but it's not only me it's my team yeah you know? yeah everybody but you... that was they was working in the projects including you that you was mm -hmm. there taking pictures be sure that everything was the right way too so mm -hmm. i think it's a teamwork yeah yeah mm -hmm. thank you so much um well I think we're going to have more conversations to be had, but uh, thank you again so much, Jenny. And I, thank you, Steve. yeah, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to the next one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. This was Izumi Tanaka with Home Green Homes podcast.